Hi, this is, a, this is Trey Passer. Welcome to my in bed vlog. Um, Saturday, uh, December 5th, 2015. Okay, I'm officially on vacation. <laughs> my job will be gone for a week, and hopefully, I'm going to use that week to, you know, get caught up. I'm going to do a lot of cleaning around my room, which I'm going to do, and pack up stuff. I brought some boxes home from work, and I'm going to get some more from the post office probably on Monday and just pack up some of these VHS tapes and, and then I can uh, put some of the Blu-rays that I'm piling up over th over there down there and and you know put them in the closet the VHS tapes and I think I'm going to probably put them on Craigslist to um, see if somebody can just tape them you know because I need the space <laughs> and uh, I'll probably keep some of the VHS it's, VHS movies themselves, you know, but, you know, the VHS, because I used to tape every, like, tape Smallville and TV shows and everything else, which I don't really need now, especially since I've got the DVDs for Smallville and, and stuff, so I don't need that, so I'll probably get rid of some of the, you know, most of the VHS tapes. I'll keep the, try to keep the movies, you know, the ones that I like, and then give everything, see if I can have somebody come get them and... <laughs> From on Craigslist. Anyway, the goal today, since I'm officially on vacation, is to, uh, you know, just relax and watch movies and, like I said, and assess what I'm going to do. Uh, I also want to, since I'm not going anywhere on vacation this year, I decided against going. I want, originally, I was going to try to go to Las Vegas, but I got too much stuff I'm going to do around here. And while I'm off, too, I'm going to visit my brother again because my sister, who's, you know, thankfully is doing well with her rehab and stuff, she's going to take a break and she's going to go to Florida for a few weeks to, you know, just, you know, get a change of scenery and stuff, which is good for her, I think, for her mental health. So she's going to do that. Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry about that. About that coming on. Uh, anyway, I. Uh, She's gonna go and I think around the 16th, go to Florida. She's probably spend Christmas there. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry about that. Again, <laughs> that's what happens when you film live. <laughs> Sometimes you sneeze. <laughs> anyway, uh, but for her mental health, she's gonna go down there for a few weeks and stuff. And spend Christmas down there with her girlfriends and stuff, which is, I think, a good thing for her. She needs the mental break, and her niece will stay in her apartment you know, handle, you know, paying the rent and stuff while she's gone, so that's good for her. But, yeah, today's goal <laughs> for today, to me, is um, I'm going to get up in a little bit, and after I record this, and, you know, start the process of rendering this, and get it up, uh, get the, uh, the video up, uh, before I uh, eat, you know, eat some pancakes, and then I'm going to Try to go downtown and see Crumpus. I know I've got bad reviews and stuff, but I'm going to go see it anyway. <laughs> Excuse me. Go see Crumpus, and then I'm going to probably see it. I need to buy me a few things downtown. I need to buy new shoes. Because the shoes I got, while comfortable, are really worn down. <laughs> so I need to buy me, you know, this will be my little Christmas present to myself. I'm going to buy me some shoes, and I'll buy me some clothes and stuff. You know, a few things because I really do black slapping and get, buy myself clothes and stuff. So I need to buy myself, you know, clothes. You know, a few things, and which I don't have to get all today because like I said I'm off the whole week. So, but I'm gonna try to do some of it today. A little personal shopping for myself, and also then I'm gonna go to do my movie shopping. And I also got a ten dollar certificate from uh, Barnes and Noble. I guess would be, you know, they give that out to people that are members, which is good. I'll use that to hopefully buy a decent movie. And I think they still have Criterions on sale, I think. So maybe that was November. I'll see when I get down there. Anyway, do a little movie shopping. And, uh, you know, then come back uptown and, you know, do my uh, food shopping. And I'll eat the last of the Thanksgiving food. <laughs> my sister, as usual, uh, she gave me a little plate, you know, after we visited for Thanksgiving. We had a good time over there. Watched a few football games and, and ate. And then I 
you know, came back here with a nice plate. And I kind of ate it every other day, so that food is officially gone uh, today, which is, you know, good. My sister is a very good cook, and my niece who always cooks me a nice lemon cake. That was delicious, <laughs> too, but I'm done with the Thanksgiving food. That's done. Anyway, uh, what I, oh yeah, what I said, when I come back, I'm going to do my food shopping and then come back. And uh, I watched this movie last night, uh, Z for Zachariah. Okay, this is starring Chandler, Edgefor, Margot Robbie, and Chris Pine. So look for my review of that later today with another movie that I'm going to probably watch when I get back. And look for my review of Compass, too. Uh, so that'll be my horror review for... Um, for this Saturday, and like I said, I'm like I said, I mentioned before. Well, I think I mentioned this in my blog before or my Blu-ray update. I'm gonna look into maybe getting a little green screen thing behind me. So when I'm doing my videos, just to you know change things up, I like to expand my channel as much as I can. So I'm gonna try to do some more of that. Okay, and also uh. Oh yeah, the Batman V. That's what I, this is what I wanted to talk about. Okay, briefly, before I wrap this vlog up, the Batman V. Superman trailer came out. The technically the third one, but uh, officially the second trailer. There's a tease, of course, to see the uh, Comic Con trailer, which is trailer number one, and the one that came out on Wednesday, Jimmy Kimmel. Okay, uh, I liked. I really liked the dialogue in the beginning with Clark and Superman, Clark and Bruce. I thought that was great back and forth, great writing and great acting from. Uh, and, and also, Lex is growing on me as well. I, I mentioned this before, I think, when I did uh, my uh, my breakdown of the trailer. I did that. I saw my channel, too, if you want to watch that. But I know a lot of people have this. I don't think universally people like, like the first teaser, and they like the, even though they wanted more, I guess, they like the, uh, the, the first trailer, official first trailer, the Comic Con one. Okay, and uh, I think this trailer had divided people. A lot of people. Hate it, think it reveals too much. Uh, think that some of the, you know, like Doomsday, the reveal of Doomsday was a bad thing. And some people still hate, Le hate uh, Jesse Eisenberg as Lex anyway. But this trailer just makes me even more pumped for the movie. I, I like, you know, like I said, opinions are, are going to be opinions. But I still think this movie is going to be well written and well acted. It's going to be, it is going to be a, I think, a great movie because I think Chris Terrio is going to. The writing of it is going to be fantastic, and there's going to be beats in it, and it's, I think it's going to be a great movie. And, and I like them showing that interaction between Clark and Bruce, okay? And there's a lot of things we still don't know about the trailer, which I was mentioning before, because I always assumed that Wonder Woman would be the one to break up their fight when they have their fight. And But from that line that you have in the trailer with them, Clark asking if she's with her, is, he, is she with him, and then... Bruce saying, I oh, know, I thought she was with you. It's apparently that, I guess, that that's the first time they both see one woman, apparently, unless that's a misdirection. Okay, so that's the first time they don't, so they don't know her. I assume that she, that one woman would be the thing to break up, so we don't know who, who stops them from fighting. Okay, because it looks like a pretty intense fight, which I think is, it's going to be a good fight. It's going gonna, it's gonna to last a good 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes that fight that they have. In the middle of the movie, I think it's going to last 10, 10, maybe 15 minutes. And I think the fight is going to start off with Superman you know, basically knocking and that line that you hear saying, Feel that if I wanted to stay down, if I wanted to, I could kill you if I wanted to. And I think Bruce is that when he kicks in with the, with the kryptonite, because there's one shot where Bruce, where you hear him, Bruce say, where you see him slamming Superman against the wall, and I think Superman is bleeding. And I think that's when he, 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 he you know, he, the kryptonite. It's starting to take effect, so he said, I'm gonna let you know what it feels like to be a man, <laughs> and which is when he's gonna start really putting the beats on Superman. And, and like I said, we don't know who, what's gonna stop them from fighting, which is a good mystery thing. And I also have a theory, I don't, I think I heard, I heard this theory somewhere before. Excuse me for a minute, there was too much sun, sun, sunlight in there that uh, that Alfred is dead, and I. And this, and uh, he basically talking to Bruce. And it's like, you know, that's Bruce's conscious talking to him. You know, Alfred being against, basically you get that, that tone from all the trailers that Alfred is trying to warn Bruce to not be so cruel and 
than that fighting Superman like they see. he says in the third trailer. It's a su it's suicide trying to go up against Superman because you know. But I so that maybe so I hope Alfred's not dead. But if they're using him in a clever way, I guess I hope I and that that makes me think Alfred is dead because you see Bruce in the beginning of the trip he drives himself to the party, and the way Gotham not Gotham the way Wayne Manor looks you know deserted and all beat up. And you know, I don't think that would be that way. Howard was still alive, so maybe he is dead. Maybe that's another reason why he's stopped being Batman. Yeah, you know, that and the death of Robin, Jason Todd Robin. So I, I'm thinking that might be a possibility that Alfred is dead. Okay, and he's what you see when you see him in the movie. That's Bruce, his subconscious, conjuring Alfred. You know, as his you know, con, you know, his voice. You know. Not his voice, it's his Bruce's mind, you know, conjuring up Alfred being there, you know, to, to talk to him, to try and advise against him. So I don't know if this conscious Alfred is going to be able to be the one to stop him from killing Superman, because I think he is going to hurt Superman bad. <laughs> I think he is, because from what you see in that trailer, it looks like he, when he uh, starts off to fight Superman, kind of slams him around, and then when he kicks him with that kryptonite, that's when he's. He's gonna start to hurt Superman because that one shot—it's a quick shot. You see him, like basically slams it, man. You see Superman looks like he's bleeding, and and that also that shot you see in the second trailer and this trailer where he jumps up and you know lands on Superman. You know, Superman's like, like laying there. Yeah, you know, looks like he's hurt. So I think that fight is gonna have ups and downs in that fight. That's why I'm looking forward to that fight because we haven't seen that full fight. So I think we have that to look forward to. You know, look forward to them actually talking, the Trinity talking to each other. I think, and also I think with Doomsday, everybody said that looks like abomination, bad CGI. But the thing again, people don't remember with Doomsday, as you fight him and you kill him, he evolves, and he, you know, so that what you did to kill him, he gets better basically as he goes along. So like you know how the Hulk gets stronger, it's the better he gets with Doomsday, the more you kill him. The, the stronger he gets, and the you know, so I don't know how they're gonna defeat him up to it, which we don't know. Okay, and I'm anxious to see Wonder Woman in action too. Gal Gadot looks absolutely beautiful and fierce to me, and I love Jesse Eisenberg's portrayal, like especially in this trailer. He really looks like he's full on villain, embraced him also to me. And he was one of the people I didn't want to be Lex Luthor, but I think he, he's nailing this role, especially the way it's written. Jesse, I think, is acting his ass off in this trailer. And probably we will be in the movie, so I'm I'm looking forward to it. Okay, and I'm rambling now, <laughs> but uh, again, look for my uh, my Saturday review and Saturday horror reviews later. And I think there's a new DC uh, Legends of Tomorrow trailer, which I'll probably do a react to that as well. So that's it for this uh, update. I mean, or vlog. So let me get up again. It's almost eight o'clock, and so I can stop upload this video before I go to. Uh, before I leave to go see to the movies. Okay, so uh, that's it. And like I said, I'll keep people updated on, you know, if I get a little green screen thing, I'm going to look into that and see if I can get the green screen just to make my channel a little bit more interesting. Okay, anyway, this is Trey Pastor saying so long and take care.